Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to 10 million. Let's hop out of bed. So, you can see my new top score is 10,300,006,566, and over here is the door. So, I could leave. The game is over. We have upgraded everything. There's certainly something interesting about the finiteness of this. Uh, it's probably the wrong approach, but to, it's an interesting approach, even at that. Uh, most cell phone games would not say you ever win. It would just have you continuously play forever and ever and ever. Or, or it would patch in more things. And for cell phone games, yeah, I like the fact that they're constantly updating and constantly adding more stuff on a lot of them. Here you can see my combination was Potion of Invulnerability and Potion of Holdfast. That's what I decided to go with and it finally, after about an hour of playing, got me through it. Uh, you can see here you can continue to play. I was playing on Hero, I could try Dungeon Master. And in fact, that's what I am going to do right now. Uh, I kind of think I would have preferred it not to end. Because now you kind of feel like you're done. Now you uninstall it. Now the problem with cell phone games is that they are constantly updating and they're, they take up ridiculous amounts of space. So I used a lot of items to get up to 10 million. But mostly it was just luck. It's, I don't feel that I learned any mad strategies, if, like the kids say. I feel like I just had a lot of food, a lot of stuff, a lot of spells. Turns out the S here means stone goes to swords. And so there's an S and a W which tells you immediately what gets turned into what. And I simply not been paying enough attention or not had enough time to pay attention to this. So what we're doing here is we're trying to get to 10 million from one rank lower. There's, I believe, an achievement for doing it from one rank lower. I believe there's an achievement for doing it from one, two ranks lower. Uh, that just means You'll have to play a little bit better, a little bit longer. I don't think it makes it any easier. I think it probably makes it more difficult. Every now and then I would get, uh, keep my shields at max uh, in between fights. That's a good strategy that you can try, but mostly it was just luck. It was just... I did the things that needed to be done, and so therefore I succeeded. I had, I had four full things of food at one point, and, and I certainly used four or five things of food to just keep me at the maximum uh, as far to the right as possible. See, that didn't even work. See here, I'm far to the left, and I just need to be far to the right. See, that's not even doing enough. So that got me to 2 million. So it really is just... You just gotta play carefully. And get, get that one good run. This game doesn't feel like it's just gonna hand you the end of the sc score of 10 million. Uh, it feels like at... You could randomly at some point get a run that gives you 20 million or 30 million, 40 million. I mean, the, the what changes the events here seems not to be tightly controlled by any mechanism. Seems like you just get random things. Maybe there is some algorithm here that's somewhat helping you, but it's not doing enough. It, so key here. As we see keys, uh, now that everything was full, start moving things around, start seeing this. Uh, need to 
focus a little bit on fighting. Actually, get some attacks down in here. There we go, a key here. So we have a wood, a sword, so the best move would be to do something like that right now, so we don't have a duplicate. Go ahead and use that, and then do this. So I could get rid of all my wood and all my swords in one, well not, no, my, all my stone. Man, they should have called it gravel or something. At least in Minecraft I don't get all these words confused. So I got a ton of wood right now, turn that out and it will turn it into more stone as I start exhausting the fight. Got a lot of guys making matches here. Notice we're up to three million, we're not anywhere really close. Uh, there is also an achievement for having all of the drinks enabled. That would be a little bit difficult, but not impossible. I think if it might even be worth, worth it to do a run here. So like 4 million there definitely feels like if you just keep, keep your head down, keep working on it, you can get this one done and probably can do the other one too. I think after this run we will just try from the very beginning. Let's just see how far we can go and then I think we'll watch the credits and just wrap up. Uh, there's not anything new to do. There hasn't been anything new to do since we got the last upgrades. Uh, this has been a fun game, but it, it only only is what it kind of portrays itself as. It's nothing more, it's nothing less. There's no, like, secret twist here. Uh, nothing reveals itself. It doesn't have any hidden depth to it. In fact, it's a rather simple game with a rather, rather simple uh, challenge, just get 10 million. And on the one time you get 10 million, you get it done. It, it feels kind of like Titan Souls in that way too, where whereas Titan Souls was all about, there's one rather complicated and difficult way to be the, a Titan, but you only have to do it once and you only have to get lucky once and then after you've gotten lucky that Titan dies immediately. Um, I would say on the difficulty level this is nowhere near Titan Souls though because that is... Oh! Why did my top score go down? Interesting. Is that a bug? Let's turn on everything here. Every single potion. And let's start from the beginning. Uh, which one would I prefer to play? I think I'd prefer to play this over Titan Souls because of just the simple fact that Titan Souls is very frustrating, but well, this one doesn't feel like it would be frustrating at all. Feels like you could put this down, come back a, a month later, and just continue at where you were. So I want to see how many levels I can move forward here with everything as it is. Now remember I have a ridiculous amount of stuff here. One key, there we go. I, like, I should be doing massive amounts of damage here. To each 
one of these things. So like one hit is getting me really far ahead, so should I keep the food until I move ahead to the next level or should I use it now? See right there I'm starting to see it. Let's see. Stone. Well that wasn't very good. I only have one stone to turn. I should have kept an eye on that. We got so much wood here. So much wood. You know, sometimes I say things and then think about what I'm saying. <laughs> and then I usually just ignore it. But on the rare occasions I'll comment. Video games sometimes will have you say the, the, the silliest things. Like, there we go. I can get rid of all that wood. There's no reason to even get the, those resources, so trading them out is the best move if you can do it. Let's see. So much. So, where are we? We're at about 800,000 right now. So we're getting a decent amount of stuff, but not great numbers. Uh, simply because we're so low. 100,000, uh, or almost we're up to 100,000, I feel like. Let's see. Play that we get rid of so many of these. It's just everything get turned into keys. much of this. It just won't stop. Come on, keys. So many scrolls. Time to start saving those things. So everything is just wood, and I have no wood on the board except for one. Let's start playing a little bit better. Um, now is I'm gonna fall behind simply just because I'm not playing well enough. I focus so much on the items that come on, go, go, go. Keep it going. Double keys are not super helpful. Let's see. I'm falling behind. See, 
and that just doesn't feel like it's realistic. It just doesn't feel like you can start at the very beginning and make your way all the way to it. Uh, I could see... See, my top score changed again. Interesting. I could see you doing it on Dungeon Master. I could see you doing it on Explorer, but when you get down to 88 times score multiplier on Adventurer, or Quester, or Scout, it just seems like that score multiplier is too low. And we started on Rookie, and I don't even know if we even made it to Wayfarer. Uh, there is an achievement for beating each type of dragon, so I may not have beaten both the right white and red and black dragon. Let's try it on Hero one more time with all these things enabled. I, I, I guess you could certainly use this to your advantage. Go play the rookie and then you'll have a bunch of wood to things to help beat them. But you're gonna need so much of that with every single potion on. It's just going to be quite the struggle. But already I have more score than what I got for that long run on Rookie. Let's see, here we keep going. We're at like a million. So it doesn't seem completely impossible. Let's see. Or the keys. Let's See, so, 3 million. I mean, it's not impossible, obviously. It's it's just going to take a lot of attempts. So, that's 18 minutes of playing. If you wanted to start over from scratch, you got to clear all uh, data. Ace level 1. Interesting. Let's go here and see what happens. Maybe there is a prestige, and I did not remember. Have you noticed this guy kind of looks like uh, Indiana Jones or Pitbull Hair? You're free! Yay! A game by 88 Games. See, I told you it was 1080p when they wanted it to. 8 hours and 25 minutes. That's pretty good time for a game. 1313. Killed. 707 chest opened. Best score, 10 million, and some change. All-time score, three, 30 million. Testing was done by those people, and those people, I guess. This is an interesting little cutscene. It's like, we don't know how to make cutscenes, so we're just gonna do it the way we want to do it. I don't know if the programmers, I got 2,000 double matches, if the program is 300 triple matches, didn't know how to make better graphics or better interface, or they intentionally made it bad. 24 boss monsters killed? That's rather low. The main theme is by that guy. We found 127,000 gold. We could have certainly found more. We could have certainly found more wood and more stone. The enemies are just punching the wall <laughs> to give you the, a lot of experience. I had almost 2,004 in a rows. 200 even 5 in a rows. 
special thanks. It's interesting your score is in, in the middle of the credits. Our game dev from Reddit, interesting. Thanks for playing. Keep playing if you want. Click to return. So. Nothing, I think, changes here. The, my only guess is he does kind of look like Pitbull Harry, I would say, more than Indiana Jones. Although, sort of Indiana Jones with the hat, too. My guess is if you deleted your score, you wouldn't save that ace level. I bet what you need to do is get over 10 million multiple times for that ace level to, to go up. Or maybe the ace level doesn't mean anything at all. So, while there may be a couple of achievements left, and that was rather short credits, I don't think there's anything more to do. There's no real reason to run through this. You've still got the game after eight and a half hours of playing. You've got what you wanted. Uh, I think you get a decent amount of time for it. Like I said before, this game is a little expensive at about $2, even when it's on sale, but eight hours of playtime there, when you see that number in front of you, it's like, it's not that expensive. Uh, the graphics, there's nothing to say about them. They, they're intentionally, I assume, 8-bit. The most 8-bit of 8-bit uh, graphics here. Uh, although probably still not actually 8-bit, but uh, nothing to really say about the gameplay. Probably could use some tightening up. I'd be interested to see if they improve some things on You Must Build a Boat. There could be more upgrades. A lot of the upgrades were nothing but numeric increases. Uh, it would have been nice if you got more score after you stopped needing gold and wood and stone and, and experience because I collected quite a bit of extra stuff after the fact. And I probably played for a couple hours extra that I really didn't need to do. And I kind of wish there was some strategy here that you could have learned. Uh, there's, it, it seems very random and it feels like it shouldn't be. Not the best match three game ever, but maybe one of the better ones on Steam, uh, since most of those games usually end up on cell phones and only cell phones. And they, even if they do come to Steam, they end up being very bad ports. This isn't a terrible port. It does suffer from not having a touch screen. If you have a touch screen, I would highly recommend trying and playing like that, seeing if that works better than a mouse does. Uh, but that's going to be a problem with any match game on the mouse. I wish things like Puzzles and Dragons uh, were available in an easy fashion on Steam to play. Uh, the, that is certainly a game that has a lot more in depth to it where you could play forever. Uh, this, I don't think I would want to play it for another eight hours. Not immediately, maybe come back in a year. So overall, for a match three game, it's got what you want. And it's, it's a really dumb name and it's silly that you just called your game 10 million, but overall, I would say pretty good match three game. So that's it for this series. I, as always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. You can also click on my name, Rido, which takes you through my main YouTube page, and click on that playlist tab and see a playlist for every game I've ever covered. And then down below in the description box, I have links to Facebook, uh, Twitter, Tumblr, Google+, Steam, and Battle.net. So follow and friend me on all of those services. That helps you see when my newest videos are out. And it helps me with those services so I have more followers and can better communicate directly with them. Thank you for going through this whole journey with me. It's 
been a lot longer than I thought it would. I, this could have easily been a four hour game, two hour game. Uh, also could have been a four year game, just depending on how they decided to make it. And so they made it eight hours or thereabout. At least at my level of skill of playing. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.